Well, this is Barefoot Grandpa, and uh, today I don't have my assistant, but my lovely wife April is filming. And um, so today we're going to talk about water and drinking too much. Uh, we all hear uh, about dehydration. Dehydration is easy to understand. It's not enough water. We get drowsy. Uh, your body gets out of whack and it can be quite dangerous, especially if you're exercising in the heat. So what have we done over years? We tend to drink a lot. Uh, we've got lots of ways to carry water. We've got lots of ways to put it on our back. We've got lots of different types of water. And we've got lots of ways to treat water. Um, we can irradiate it. No, not irradiate. Uh, ultraviolet, which is pretty awesome. We can treat it with iodine. Um, we can even boil it. And uh, we've got lots of pumps. And uh, I've got a couple here, but I couldn't find them today. So we can clean water. We carry water in all kinds of ways. But there's a hidden problem here. And we just had it, uh, I just had a little case of it on a backpack uh, with another one of our backpackers, is you can drink too much. The word dehydration is simple, it's easy to understand. The other word is called hyponatremia. I'm not even sure what natremia means or the actual definition, but it's drinking too much water and it removes the sodium from your system. Um, so you can drink too much or you can drink too little and guess what what are the symptoms of dehydration I've got a cheat sheet here nausea fatigue headache cramps irritability restlessness weakness fainting and you can become lethargic guess what the symptoms are for hyponatremia nausea fatigue headache cramps, irritation, weakness, fainting, and lethargic. Same symptoms. You come on somebody on the trail and they have those symptoms. We tend at first to give them more water. Well, is that the best thing to do? How do we know whether they've drunk too much water or not enough water? They have the same symptoms. The keys are to ask them questions before you do anything. And the questions, what have you been doing? How long have you been doing it? Have you been drinking water? How much water have you been drinking? How often do you drink? How often have you been drinking? And now comes the personal questions. Have you been peeing? How much are you peeing? Are you peeing more than normal or less than normal? And something really important, what's the color of your pee? If they've been over drinking, you're gonna be peeing a lot. Every five or 10 or 15 minutes, you're gonna be peeing. And the pee is going to be clear, absolutely white. If that's the case, oh, let's see. And if you're dehydrated, you're not peeing much at all. You're not sweating much. And your pee is gonna be yellow to dark orange. And you're gonna fall into those same other symptoms. So. If you've got hyponatremia and you've been drinking too much, your body's out of whack, you don't have enough sodium in your system, it can be fatal. What do you do? You do not give them more water. Uh, you have them rest, you put them in the shade, you feed them salty snacks. Um, don't give them sports drink, don't give them water. Um, salty snacks, food, rest. And if they're really bad and they start going into a loss of consciousness, then it's time to evacuate, get them to the doctor. If you're dehydrated, what do you do? You give them water, you give them sport drinks. You don't necessarily give them salty snacks, but you also let them rest, get them shade, get them cool. And if the symptoms become more serious, evacuate, call the doc. So water, in the wilderness, drink the right amount. Drink when you're thirsty, a little bit more than what you're thirsty, but you don't have to pound down liter after liter after liter. And if you're not feeling good,
drink comfortably, don't overdo it. Dehydration is not good. Hyponatremia is not good. We need to come up with a better word for hyponatremia. But drink right, drink well, don't drink too much, don't drink too little. And that's your Barefoot Grandpa on drinking too much in the wilderness.